This case in Ohio, where authorities are speculating out loud this morning that three people missing for nearly a week might be found, might not be found alive. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds is in Mount Vernon, Ohio, with the latest on this baffling case. Dean, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Well, authorities here are no longer calling this a missing persons case. Instead, they're describing it as an investigation into the recovery of three people. Neighbors gathered for a vigil last night, hoping that the horror story that hit their town has a happy ending. They gathered a few steps up the road from the home of Matthew Hoffman, the lone suspect so far in the case involving the disappearance of a mother, her two children, and a friend. Among them, only 13-year-old Sarah Maynard is safe, having been rescued Sunday morning from Hoffman's basement, where she'd been bound and gagged for four days. Police aren't saying whether she was assaulted as well. The girl is now out of the hospital, though, staying with relatives and helping investigators. A 13-year-old girl being held captive for four days by a total stranger, I would call her the epitome of bravery. But officials are clearly worried about the others, Tina Herman, Cody Maynard, and Stephanie Sprang. You just have to be realistic that uh, there is a, a possibility that these folks are dead. The sheriff also disclosed that police initially questioned the suspect when they spotted him sitting in his car close to where Herman's truck was located a day after she disappeared. It's been reported that surveillance tapes from local stores may also have led authorities to Hoffman. Now a formal arraignment is set to take place here today for the suspect, Matthew Hoffman, on kidnapping charges. Harry? Dean Reynolds in Mount Vernon, Ohio this morning. Thank you.